Well, hello everyone. This is Dr. Jerry Cuomo here in Boca Raton. I'm uh, completing a case that I started uh, with uh, with YouTube and putting it on YouTube. Um, it is a two-unit case, screw retained, strom and bone level, supposedly bone level, but we know it's more of a platform shifting type technology. Um, these are two individual crowns. They're going to be screw retained and we're now at the, the point where we've adjusted the contacts. Um, you know, a little trouble with the lab work on it, uh, trying to get the contacts perfect, but let me show you where we started. This is the provisional. Of course, it doesn't look like the day we put it in because it's all stained. If you notice um, on the undersurface how well we tried to keep uh, intact the highly polished surface. Uh, that being said, um, this is out. We're going to go in with the real McCoy now. This is uh, this is tooth numbers 27 and 20, 28. Um, this is 28. I'll show you what we've done to the undersurface of 28. Highly polished metal, of course, trying to keep all the contours more convex than concave and subgingively. Nice broad contacts. And we've also countersunk the metal and opaque the top of that and also acid etched so that we're ready now to receive the uh, the composite plug in there. All right, occlusion was checked, but it were a little high on the uh, the cuspid, and we'll be adjusting the cuspid after we torque down to uh, to 35 newton centimeters. So I'm going to go ahead and torque in the first one, and again we're using the Stroman system. Let's see. Alright. If you notice the tissue looks relatively healthy. Uh, I'll just see if I can lower this just right for us. I'll hand tighten that first. And Julie, I'm gonna ask uh, how you feel once I hand tighten that just make sure you're not Feeling any tension or tenderness in, in the tooth at all? Okay, nothing on the adjacent tooth. Okay, now I'm going to start to to tighten it a little bit more and just give me some feedback uh, on how you feel. All right, so here we are. Uh, wrenches in place. And I'll go ahead and start to tighten. Now, are we doing okay? Everything good? Tighten a little bit more. It's going to take that right up to 35 newtons. And we are going to check the, uh, the contact. So I'm at 35 newtons right now. Okay, and we're going to send our floss through again. And in it goes. Alright, and we're checking the back tooth again as well. That's still a little tight, but we're through. How does that feel to you? Tight at all, or we're comfortable? Okay. Check occlusion. I notice there's no blanching around in the tissues, and now and with the paper close up all the way. Tap your teeth down together. Okay. Tap tap tap. Okay, great. Okay, how did that feel to your bite? Tap tap again. Does it feel okay? Yes. Comfortable? Okay, so she's hitting off uh, mesially and distally. Um, we will give her a good centric holding contact uh, in the composite. And now we're going to go ahead and and. Uh, place the uh, abutment next to it, number 28. 28, it'll slide that in. And hand tighten that one. Right. We 
we've already reviewed the color, shape, size of the teeth. Again, a, a, a hand tightening. Everything good, Julia? Feels comfortable? No tightness? None? Okay. Sliding in again. Good contact there. Good contact. We're going to torque it down to 35 newton centimeters again. And uh, I think Julia could write the book now on their case. She pretty much knows what we've gone through. All right. So again, we're going to tighten this a little out of focus, but right now we'll tighten it to 35 newton centimeters. None of this could be accomplished unless we had a passive fit. And we're right at 35, right there. Perfect. Back in to check contacts. Okay, and perfect. Perfect. All right. And nice. And we want the patient, I always ask the patient if we can slide and make sure we slide that floss all the way up under the tissue. Perfect. That's it. Absolutely no obstruction whatsoever. Now I'm going to have her check, her bite checked again. Okay, and close all the way down again. Tap, tap, tap. Okay, now we know one tooth is hitting a little high, and that's right here, which we thought before. So now is a good time to adjust that area. And after I adjust the bite, I'll take the next segment with you through the um, through adding the little plug, and we'll show you what it looks like when we're finished. All right. So um, just to show you again, contours on the labial. Nice contours. We try to fill in as much as we can so that food doesn't get caught in between. Again, on the lingual, looks great. And we're ready to uh, to insert the plug. So this is, uh, I'm just going to do a quick shout out to, to Joey um, Prosha, who's out in Buffalo Dental School. And we want to wish you well in your studies out there, Joey. I hope you've learned a little bit about what we're doing here in the, uh, in the field out in the field, I want to say, instead of the classroom. And we hope we stimulated a num number of dentists as to what we're trying to accomplish here is uh, uh, giving dentistry uh, to our patients at a very high level. So uh, Grandma says hello, and she's checking up on you, so make sure you're studying every night. Okay, <laughs> you take care. We'll see you on the next segment.